If I can help you in any way, please let me know. Show feet. Nice place. Let's use our titty touching. Greetings, Captain. Ah! I can't tell you how glad we are to see the Enterprise. We're happy to assist. What can you tell us about the invasion? It's kind of unfortunate capture, isn't it? Nice station, though. The first wave seems to have passed through the sector already. There were dozens of warbirds. We thought we were done for, but they just kept going. They didn't even attempt to attack? No. It looks like they were headed for the Zatarnus Nebula. We don't know why. Are there any other ships in the area? The USS Ayers came through a few hours ago, but they headed off to intercept a group of warbirds. The Klingons have promised to send us support, but... We've just detected some incoming warbirds. <gasps> They're headed for COM Relay 543 in the Paxonoma system. Captain, we can't afford to lose another COM station. It's a match for a single warbird, but against any more than that, we risk losing the ship. Don't be ridiculous. We're on, We're our, on way. our way. Set course for the Paxonona system. Warp 9. Engage. Damn it, Willis. No. Warp's life support always goes off when I'm there. I don't believe in life support. I always go somewhere hard at 9.4 9.4 inches. Mr. Data, any suggestions? I suggest we... You always Primary say that. Primary core access enabled. Systems online. So if I was trying to find a location, for example, where would I go? Local area? Star Eater? Oh, there's a Star Eater in this! A creature found in the midst of many local races which eats stars. Its appearance varies widely from myth to myth, but is usually described as a very large animal of one sort or another. These myths are thought to have their origin in the obscuring of stars by the expansion of the Zatanis Nebula. Well, how about that? There's a lot to read here about the local area, which we probably should do one day. But we are popping over to war for a bit, so maybe not right now. Captain, three warbirds are entering the system. They are not cloaked. Red alert! Shields up! I don't understand it. They're not even attempting to hide. Sir, we, we haven't painted a background for Red Alert. <laughs> we'll have to change the light bulb. Could it be some kind of trick? Prepare to engage, Mr. Wolf. Captain, the Romulans are changing course. Agreed. They are retreating. What? Helm, change course to intercept. It's time we found out what they're up to. Sir, one of the warbirds is breaking formation. It is turning to engage us. A Romulan warbird is on sensors. Targeting Rom... Mr. Wolf, you have torpedo away. Torpedo locked. <laughs> There is no response to our hail. Okay. The ship is no down. The shields are Tactics. Do a counterclockwise screw. Uh, LaForge, I need you to make our bangs go maximum bang. Good. Sounds like you're taking care of it. Good work, buddy. Yeah, look at this. Attention, Romulan vessel. This is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. I am Tiralak, commander of the Imperial Warbird Sionex. Your ship is crippled, Tiralak. I'm offering to beam you and your crew aboard the Enterprise. You will be well treated. No doubt. Unfortunately, we will not be able to accept your generous offer. Captain, energy emissions from the Cyanex are rapidly increasing. I believe they have activated their self-destruct system. Shame, I would have liked to pet Romulan. Helm, back us off. I don't want us anywhere near that ship when it goes. Farewell, Commander. Seems like a nice thing to say. It doesn't have to end like this, Tyrolak. For us, there is no other way, Picard. You know, you fight like a Romulan. Perhaps now, I can show you how to die like one. Has sustained major damage. 
It exploded so hard, it broke my virtual machine, I think. I wonder when our last save was. Well, at least we can speedrun whatever it took to get there. But, you know, that's the nature of playing ancient games, as anyone still here from Stowe's channel can attest. Let's see. Why did your ships cross the neutral zone, Tiralak? Surely you knew that you were being intercepted. Of course we did. Then what was the purpose? There was nothing to be gained from this. We gained far more than you realize. Oh. Just leave all these people to die and beam him off? That seems harsh. Hmm. Mr. Data, lock onto Commander Tyrolak. Beam him aboard now. Yes, sir. Too late, Picard. Too late for all of you. Well, they haven't crashed it yet, Touchwood. The Romulan Warbird has been destroyed. You don't have to enjoy it that much, Michael. Alert cancelled. Condition green. Listen, I'm really sorry about that. Good, I'm glad you're here, Geordie. Fuck, wow, we really fucked this up. Wow, the entire EPS grid was offline for a moment there. Good that we <laughs> we won when we did. No one really knows what the EPS grid does in Star Trek, but the answer seems to be everything. Yeah, okay, good. Just doing that to minimize the amount of power being used. Oh my god, the entire computer core is offline. Fuck me. I hope we don't need the uh, tractor beam for any story points in the coming ten minutes. Yowza. Okay, looks like you've got this, Mr. LaForge. You know what? There we are. There we are. Weapons more important than anything else. Mr. Data, give me a scan of this sector. Yes, sir. What do you have to report, Captain? The relay station has been secured. We defeated one of the warbirds, but unfortunately the Romulans destroyed themselves to avoid capture. The Romulans have a strange conception of honor. Well, there's no time to dwell on that. I have another assignment for you. We're in need of some repairs. There's no time. We've just received a communication from a Klingon attack cruiser in the Bayless system. Well, that was useful. They reported engaging three warbirds headed for this outpost. Give the Klingons any assistance they need, and make sure those warbirds don't get through. Yes, ma'am. We're on our way. Lay in a course for the Bayless system. Warp 9. Engage. Warp 9. I know, the is the lip-sync not absolutely perfect? Good. Alright, my sausages, I just need to sort out some things in the back end for one minute. Star Trek, the game. A game so challenging, you need this combat control panel to play it. Take command of the Starship Enterprise as you battle your way through unknown sectors. Blast Klingons. Raise your shields. Watch for space mines. Is this the most challenging game in the galaxy? It's inhuman. Star Trek from Sega. Ah, traveler. Welcome to the promenade. Humble quark at your service. Behold, Star Trek Deep Space Nine action figures. Commander Benjamin Sisko, he helps me run the station. And Security Chief Odo, very strict and sneaky for someone so honest. Here's Lieutenant Dax, and Chief O'Brien, and Major Kira Nerys. I happen to know she's crazy about me. Wonderful, aren't they? Especially this one. So handsome. Pains me to part with it, but if you pay me now... Ah, security. What a pleasant surprise.
Oh my god, there was an actual 1-800 Star Trek. Who's that half-naked boy? Oh, it's just a pink shirt. It's just a pink shirt and yet another X-Split crash. Hello, everyone. Hi. There's me. Here's me again. There we go. Your boy is back. I feel welcomed back. What's we here? are receiving a message from Captain Kidra of the Bortas. Hello, I'm Captain Kidra of the Bortas. Let's see how close we got with that. The Bortus was one of the first Klingon ships to offer assistance when the Romulan invasion began. <laughs> I like pink. Light-toned pink works for me, Mr. Cowboy. But as I've got older and more furiously gammon-flavored, and my face is rather beginning to share a tone with them. Captain Kidra fought with me against the Duras. He is a warrior of great courage. That sounds nice, Jet. Bring us in with you. Put him on screen. Greetings, Captain. This is Jean-Luc Picard of the Enterprise. Captain Picard, it is an honor. Who is it? Who is it an honor? Oh, good. I was worried it might not be a fucking honor. Right, here we go. The honor is mine. Lieutenant Worf speaks very highly of you. <laughs> As well he should. We crushed many enemies together. Well, I bear good news, Captain. We have saved one of your communication relays from a Romulan attack. Then we are in your debt. Do you require any assistance with your ship or crew? None whatsoever. We were completely unscathed. And, Captain, we captured a warbird and many prisoners. It was a truly glorious victory. Well, that feels like a fucking trap. Warbirds are not commonly capturable. They are very self-destruct happy. You captured a Romulan warbird without any resistance? They had little to resist us with. Thank you for looking, Space When Cowboy. we boarded their ship, we found that it had been severely modified, stripped of most weapons and many other systems as well. Why would they purposely make themselves so vulnerable? The modifications nearly doubled their engine power. It seems they were willing to sacrifice weapons for speed. Captain. Such modifications would have placed extreme stresses on the Warbird's hull. It would not have survived an extended mission. Maybe they never expected to survive. Maybe they were on a suicide mission. But a suicide mission for what? During our interrogations, the prisoners mentioned a weapon of some kind. Perhaps that is what they were seeking. This is interesting. What did you learn from the prisoners? It's funny. This is written... This game was made before Discovery, so it's no longer canon that the Klingons are bestial monsters who eat their prisoners and are just horrible murder lords. Uh, so they probably had just a very nice, mild little chat with the prisoners because they forgot that... Uh, <laughs> apparently just a century ago, they were all fucking chewing their fingers off for fun. Uh, let's give him a chance to talk about the battle. Klingons like that shit. Tell me about the battle. We were on patrol in the ballast system near your Good relay point, station Leonard. when we detected three warbirds approaching rapidly. You engaged three warbirds with a single ship. I wouldn't care to face those odds even in the Enterprise. We were ready for an honorable death as we closed with their lead ship. We locked our disruptors, prepared to fire, and they fled. The cowards ran from us, even though they held the advantage. They didn't even attempt to attack the station? They were concerned only with escape. By the time we disabled their first ship, the other two were already out of range. Were you able to track them? Yes, for a while. We believe they were heading for the Zatanis Nebula. What exactly did you learn from the prisoners? They spoke of an ancient weapon. A relic of a long-dead race known as the Chodak. A weapon of ultimate power which would solve all their problems, put an end to their war, and destroy both the Federation and the Klingon Empire. You sound as if you don't believe this weapon exists. It is nothing more than a desperate fantasy. According to our reports, their empire will soon be overrun by alien invaders. The Romulans are clutching for anything they think can save them. Assuming the weapon is real, how did the Romulans expect to find it? Apparently, they found clues to the weapon's supposed location at the site of some Chodak ruins. Now they're wasting valuable ships on a useless quest while their empire burns. Fools. Welcome aboard. It's nice to have you. 
Gleon76! That's how it's pronounced. Can you tell us anything else about the Romulans' war? They are fighting a formidable adversary. Extremely powerful aliens from the far side of their empire. We know nothing more than that. Oh, is it the Q? Are they just going to blink them out of existence? With your permission, I'd like to question the Romulan commander myself. I can beam over immediately. I'm afraid that won't be possible. The commander is presently... Mm, indisposed. Perhaps permanently. Oh my. I trust that you are handling the prisoners appropriately. Of course, but several of them are still alive. <laughs> I take it back. Yeah. Yeah. Captain, I'd like to respectfully remind you that you are in Federation space, and as such, you're expected to conform to Federation rules of conduct, including the proper treatment of prisoners. So it does. You're quite right. Thank you for pointing that out, Buff. E. I probably can. Whoop. At least I can pop him up there. Let me uh, turn that the heck off. Boom. Yes. So thank you very much, everyone, for doing birthday goals. That was really nice. Yes, be nice to your prisoners, please. They have been given the proper treatment that Romulans deserve. Perhaps it would be better for all concerned if you released the prisoners into our custody instead. This is a Klingon matter, Picard. It is none of your concern. If our methods are so distasteful to you, perhaps next time the Federation can defend itself without our help. Kidra, out. Yeah, I was worried we would piss off the Klingons with that. But it seemed like the right thing to do to say, maybe don't eat your prisoners. But you know, on the other hand, eat your prisoners. Oh well. Can't win them what all. What could the Romulans be up to? They are not eager to fight. Their actions seem somewhat desperate. I'm beginning to wonder if this really is an invasion after all. According to the information provided by Captain Kidra, the modifications to the Warbirds will render the ships unusable within a few weeks. That would seem inconsistent with the needs of a long-term occupational force. But they made those modifications for a reason. Speed. It looks like they're trying to get to the Zitaranus Nebula as fast as they can. Agreed. The question is, why? I've got an idea. Can we please set a course for the Zitaranus Nebula? Wait, have we already done that? Nope, we are stationary. Oh wait. Is it already down here? Okay. Intercept the target. I'd missed what that was because I was clicking, but it looks like something's in over here. Let's go and have a look at it. Helm, plot an intercept course. Go to red a alert. Romulan warbird the ship is, is on is sensor. Decloaking. Locking weapons. Do you need a moment, Captain? I understand you humans need to pray before death. <laughs> you know as well as I that our ships are evenly matched. A fight is in nobody's best interest. My crew and I prepare to sacrifice ourselves for the fight. Uh, for the Federation. I'd better make the same sacrifice as Commander. My crew and I are prepared to sacrifice ourselves for the Federation. Are you prepared to make that same sacrifice, Commander? We shall see who becomes the sacrifice. Prepare to die, Captain. Fine. My sensors show that your ship is badly damaged, Captain. Do you wish to surrender? We will surrender. We can surrender the ship. You know as well as I that our ships are evenly matched. A fight mm. is in nobody's best interest. I trust you have learned your lesson, Captain. Withdraw. Hmm. We are not defeated. We are being hailed. We are? Do you need a moment? <laughs> you know I am... Do shooting, Mr. Worf. Why do I have to explain this? We are being hailed. Why? Do you need a moment, Captain? <laughs> I am very much interested in a fight, Captain. Right. Please perform an attack on the man. 
star manoeuvre worked for a while last time. We yeah, are just fucking dreidling each other for a while. Perfect. Stalk and release, please. Yes, torpedoes out now while you're looking at. Fuck you, wolf. Fucking. What have you been up to, LaForge? Would you please keep the goddamn phasers charged, you cheeky monkey? Hmm. <laughs> Spamming comms. Just defeat them by blowing their ears out. Yeah. Why are you? Ju this is beautiful ship-to-ship -ship combat. Probably ran a little better with slower CPUs. I could press the button to slow the CPU down. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're now running with the CPU at uh, five percent speed. Maybe this is more the speed it was meant to run at. Okay, it's a little too low. Maybe the answer. Do you need a moment, <sighs> Captain? I understand. The crew of the Enterprise. Let's make it uh, an incredible ten percent speed then. Uh, Mr. Wharf, please, um, pursue it, but then with, with shooting at it. Shoot at it, too. What are you doing? None of the things I'm telling you to do are things you're doing. I'm out of torpedoes? We need to go and buy torpedoes somewhere? That's awkward. Why can't, why haven't they been fucking replicating torpedoes? What are all those lower deck shitters doing if they're not doing that? Right. Oh my god, there's so much data readout about their ship, and all of it no is, doubt. we're fine. Okay. How's our ship? Also broadly okay. Except for some impulse damage. But we're out of juicy torps! We may have to run away. Yeah. Tactics. Warping maneuvers. Ahem. Warping maneuvers. Warp away. Get us out of here. Do we have to go to a star base to get new torpedoes? Is that a thing in this game? Oh, they followed. The target is out of range. The target is out of range. I don't know how to do heckin' repairs. If engineering doesn't count as repairs. Primary core access enabled. Systems online. Destinations. Deep space stations. Which... The deep space station is located in sector 220... Okay. 220-916-17. Great. Life. <laughs> Engage. Oh, it just did it. Well, that worked out, didn't it? <laughs> well, maybe our... Maybe our torpedo launches were just fucked and it didn't tell us. LaForge, what are your... Wolf, what's your excuse? You suck. This is supposed to be a point-and-click adventure. A reason you're keeping the weapons so minimal? I guess they're not needed immediately. Hmm. Go to red alert. No obvious damage to the ship. Hmm. Oh well. Oops, did I stop us moving by going to... No, that's fine. We're going at warp 9 to Starbase Captain, 131. Incoming message from Starfleet. It is Admiral Redrick. On screen. Enterprise, where are you? Outpost 543 needs your assistance. Proceed to the Goldor system immediately. Do they have torpedoes? Fine. We're, we're coming now, Captain, Captain Admiral we're on Man. Our way. Make sure you are. They're running out of time. 
Yep, sorry, we just lost- we ran out of fat torps. Wait, where did he tell us to go? <laughs> Hailing the starbase. Cleared for docking. Take us in, number one. Okay, that's pretty cool, they put this in. Travel history, okay. We'll get right to it. We just need to have a little spa break. This game is so much more big than I expected. Mr. Data, I suggest... Mr. War, Captain. Any suggest... I'm sorry, Captain, I don't have... Oh. Can we just beam aboard the base? There are no valid oh. beam down coordinates at this location. Shame. Okay, well this didn't work. <clears throat> Never mind. Uh, was it 543? Outpost 543? Is that where we're headed? It's probably in the right general direction, isn't it? Go there! Real quick! Warp engines unable to sustain current speed. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Engage. I've had games like that. I was growing up with Leon's, you know, just doing reloading constantly to see all the content of a game. Yeah. I think this is Yeah, we can. We just pop the starbase off like a clitoral hood, and I think we've arrived. There's nothing here. Captain what The Bortas chased off the warbirds. One Klingon ship chased off three warbirds. Oh, no, strange that. one. You're the right guy to have. I tend to play. I think I'll send Captain Kedra a bottle of Saurian brandy along with my thanks. He certainly earned it. According to his prisoners, the Romulans are not interested in invading the Federation, at least not yet. Apparently they're heading for the Zatanis Nebula. That nebula has no strategic value. What are they looking for? We believe they're seeking an ancient weapon built by the Chodak. That's still funny. Chodes are funny, aren't they, Dr. Dong? They're little Dong. Yeah, they're funny. The Chodak? I've heard the stories. Some kind of star-eating superweapon hidden in the nebula. But they're just stories. The Romulans wouldn't risk war over a myth. But the Romulans never do anything without considering all the consequences. And the Perhaps consequences. there's more truth to these stories than we realized. All right, Captain. A pair of Klingon attack cruisers have just arrived in the sector to support us. I think we can manage without you. If you want to investigate this Chodak weapon further, you're free to do so. Thank you, Commander. I intend to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> bottom. Sir, we are receiving a signal from Starfleet. It is Admiral Williams. Wow, there is a lot of juggling different missions in this game, isn't there? Okay. Ignore that! On screen. Greetings, Admiral. What can we do for you? Captain, Commander Chan notified us of your findings. Your suspicions that this was not a full-scale invasion appear to be correct. The Romulan incursion appears to be limited to the sectors between the Neutral Zone and the Zatanis Nebula. We must find out what they're really after. Kisses? Agreed. The recurring thread through all this seems to be the Chodak. Do you have any ideas where to begin? Most of the surviving Chodak ruins are in Romulan space. However, we recently discovered a new site on Phrygis. There's also a Vulcan archaeologist, Shaynok, who's an expert on the Chodak. I'll attempt to contact him as well. All right, Captain. Good luck. William's out. I would like to put in for repairs and getting goodies restored to the ship, but I'm not sure how to do it. Actually popping into a starbase didn't seem to give the option. What are your orders, Captain? Right, none of these. I'd like to consider the situation further. I should like to cons- Admiral- no, no. <sighs> What's your- I'm pleased to note that you contacted the Klingon attack cruiser Borta. Captain did. Kedra was able to take prisoners and- Shall That's I go true. on? Please do. Please do. We're proud of the work you did in the Golder Sector. Based on the information from the Enterprise and the Bortas, we've reclassified the invasion as an incursion. Shall I go on? 
Please do. Very impressive, Jean-Luc. The Enterprise successfully defended Com Relay 543 and defeated a warbird in the process. The Romulans will remember this for some time. Shall I go on? It was, but the only, it was. There's no time for this. Was what she said. I think we'll. I think we're parked at the right spot to be able to talk to the starbase. But I guess we can no longer talk to the the that outpost because they're out of story points. Please do. Starfleet Command is very pleased with your first contact mission to the Garidian colony on Phrygis. However, the subsequent discovery of the fifth scroll will have profound effects on Garid. I commend you on your handling of the Garidian refugee problem. Tabak, Lucana, and Avakar have returned home aboard the Garidian warbird Asirum. Their intrusion into Federation space has been handled through diplomatic channels. Shall I go on? That's fine. No thanks. I'd like to confirm our current orders. Of course. These are used to going up and down uh, speech options. Your orders are to investigate the real reasons behind the Romulan incursion. What is the current situation, Admiral? Is there anything in particular we should be aware of? The Romulan invasion has been reclassified as an in- Oh, just the same stuff, okay. Picard out. So we need to go and check out that hecking house Primary on the hill. Core access enabled. So Systems online. I'm glad to hear it. So it's a destination. It's not a station or an outpost or a starbase. But I'm glad they exist. Zatanis! The Zatanis Nebula is an unusually dense cloud of gas and dust, occupying over 3,000 sectors. One four three of which are in the Kridnar navigation block. Gleons has sub with tier two. You've made a terrible mistake, but I'm still happy to have you here. We're probably doing some freaky VR with the mixed reality next door in the evening, so look forward to that. And we'll sing a song to you. Anyway. Uh, this place is probably bad for starships, and anyone who goes in is very bad. Let's go. Captain, an urgent message is coming in from Chancellor Larak of I... Fridges. Listen, there's coffee in that nebula. Why, why does everyone want to talk to us all the time? Fine. On screen. Captain Picard, a Romulan warbird has invaded our system. You promised to defend us. Please come as quickly as you can. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Set course for Fridges. Warp 8. Aye, sir. Oh, it didn't even get the option. Engage. It wants us to go there. Gleons, I'm so happy to have you. <sighs> and then we went toot toot through the stars. We're also getting an audio upgrade, because obviously this microphone setup doesn't sound quite fabulous enough for me. So, Warning. we'll be improving Entering it. Nebula. Here we go, it's nebuloing time. Entering Federation space. I would hope so. Helm, standard orbit. Captain's log supplemental. We have arrived at Phrygis in response to a distress call from Chancellor Larak. Although he claims to have been attacked by the Romulans, we can find no evidence that any battle ever took place. Hmm. Sensors are picking up a vessel. Yellow alert. A Romulan warbird is on sensors. Locking oh. weapons. Do you need a moment, ah. Captain? I understand you humans need to pray before death. Is this because we decided not to run away? So this guy survived and came to harass a story plot character. This game is so complicated. How do they even think about doing that in the background? That's probably pre-scripted rather than writing an AI that would randomly choose people to harass if we left them alive. But that's such an incredible thing to think of. They've done everything they can to make this feel like a living chunk of the galaxy. That's really impressive. So let's kill him. We can't really back down this time because they're at a plot point planet. I don't want to get in trouble for abandoning them. You know as well as I that our ships are evenly matched. A fight is in nobody's best interest. I am very much interested in a fight, Captain. The <sighs> Fine. The are being hailed. No the shields are being hailed. Direct hit. Okay, we did some damage to them that time. 
We are being hailed. Yeah, consistently, I'm aware. Do you... But he always says the same things. We shall... Oh, we've actually done some heckin' damage to them this time. Now. Okay, some of those might actually hit. Savor your victory while you can, Captain. You will find it short-lived. Their shields are failing. We are being you hailed. You put up a brave fight, Captain. I salute you. It's a good day to die, Commander. Fucking hell. Picard has had enough of that guy. <laughs> wow. I don't imagine there's anyone left to hail. Let's go back to the bridge. Get wolf. I cannot begin to thank you for coming to our rescue. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. Show feet.